Well, howdy friends. Brian Fleischig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. It is early July 2021 and we are finally back in the studio. It's been about three or four weeks since we've been in the studio and as you know, you may have seen the videos, but we've been out chasing cicadas. Some of the best fishing of our lives for the Brood X Cicada Hatch. If you haven't seen the videos, there's probably a link right about there. Been an amazing, amazing month of our lives here in Central Ohio, throughout the state and uh, parts west. But we're finally back in the studio and it appears that they have redesigned my studio. We hope you like it. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to it, but luckily I'm facing this way, so hopefully it won't uh, distract me too much today. So anyways, we're gonna take a few minutes of your time and talk about the new Hatch Iconic Fly Reels. You know, it's been about 10 months or so since we've seen any product come out of Hatch. They're out in California, of course, and have had some great troubles due to the COVID shutdowns. They've had trouble getting workers. They've had trouble getting raw materials, but they're finally slowly getting back into action. And they have come at us. Uh, in fact, just last week, we launched the new Hatch Iconic Fly Reel. The Hatch Iconic is definitely a style upgrade. Um, uh, they were in need of a, of a bit of style upgrade. It's a very nice looking reel for starters. Most of all, the drag knob has been changed, adds a little bit more depth to the reel. And they're also now using a bright dip finish on these reels that really brings out the shine of the machine parts while keeping the strong coloring of the matte anodization that they use. Uh, so first and foremost, they are great looking reels. They still have the six um, iconic uh, hatch window, a throwback to the previous Fanatic reels uh, that we saw before, um, but definitely do for a style upgrade. And, and they really nailed this when everybody around here at the shop uh, really likes how these look and how they feel. But there were some major upgrades too in, uh, in the make of the reel, in the build of the reel. And first and foremost, uh, forgive me, I have a cheat sheet here, uh, quite a few things to remember, and some big words that I'm gonna throw at you. But most of all, the machined reel seat, that's kind of uh, a showpiece of the hatch reels. And they were the first, and now one of the only fly reel manufacturers to make the reel body and the real foot out of one piece. It's machined right in there. This is not a separate piece that's screwed on. Now it's an expensive way to produce a reel, but it has the advantage of never having a reel seat loosen up due to galvanic corrosion. We'll circle back on that. For the Iconic, they've reshaped the reel seat also for a more contemporary look. It is very contemporary. <laughs> but the galvanic... <laughs> I've never seen such a contemporary looking reel. That's the first thing I thought, it was contemporary. But let's go back, galvanic corrosion. Uh, I wasn't exactly familiar with what that phrase meant. So in our never ending quest to be the smartest that we can be and also to educate our viewers and consumers, we looked it up on Google's. Galvanic corrosion occurs in galvanized iron and a sheet of iron or steel covered with a zinc coating. When the coating is broken by electricity or electrolytes, read salt water, it causes galvanic corrosion, or in other words, nasty rust. And that's just nasty. So um, galvanic corrosion, uh, just read corrosion or rust. So not having, you know, and we've all seen this before, especially if you fish in the salt water a lot, you know, that where that reel seat attaches, salt water can get in between the reel foot and the reel frame, and you'll have that apparently galvanic corrosion that uh, starts seeping out or creeping out. I always just called it uh, nasty stuff. 
Anyway, there's a word for it. So the machine reel seat, that's a huge selling point that sells a lot of reels. It's a, it's a great feature of the hatch reels and they've just gone and made it more contemporary. Uh, the new handle and the new counterweight. The new handle design significantly reduces the risk of galvanic corrosion. They've also retained the aluminum handle, but it now has a softer look and feel. And I will tell you that as far as handles go, it is soft feeling and soft looking. It is, in all seriousness, it is a comfortable handle um, and uh, fairly smartly designed. It, it allows you to really reach in and get a good solid grasp on that handle. And of course, you're not going to have that nasty galvanic corrosion. The new spool nut, the new spool nut, new look, similar function, but a big improvement. It is now a one piece design. So this spool nut is no longer going to pop off. You're no longer going to lose it. It's not going to fall in the water. Okay, that's a major, major deal. It's going to prevent those pieces from coming apart. And it is very easy to use. Just remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Simple. Uh, new spool design. Basically, uh, it's a similar spool design to what we've seen in the past, but they have now ported the spool arbor. Okay, you'll see there's portings along there, and it's uh, basically think of it as ventilation. It's going to allow your backing to dry. Now, we typically stop stock the large arbor spools on the reels. You can also buy mid arbor spools, which would allow you to get more backing on there. And they've also added um, some ported holes into the mid arbor versions, which allows even further ventilation. So that's, that's a big deal. There were oftentimes complaints about the um, solid arbor on the previous versions of the Fanatic. So Big improvement there. It's also uh, going to make the reel quite a bit lighter. The improved sealing. Uh, they have, through better design and concentricity. Uh, that's another word I don't exactly understand. But through better design and concentricity, maybe our editors can put up a definition of concentricity. But they have, uh, in English, they have increased the sealing by eliminating water entry points through subtracting superfluous components from past models. So there's no more superfluous components like there was in past models. So that's, that must be a good thing. Um, improved stability. The iconic reel does not utilize a cassette to house the drag system as in past models. Instead, it's now built into the body. So this has decreased axial runout. Decreased axial runout, which creates a more stable and solid design. Once again, I, I am not, I, admittedly, I'm not the smartest guy going. So I, I had to look up axial runout. And I'm sure there's, there's some physicists out there that'll chime in. And, uh, but I, I am not a physicist. Axial runout defines the vertical motion of the surface of a table when it rotates in a horizontal plane. Axial runout affects the position of the part in the vertical direction. This is important because if the surface of the part deviates in the vertical direction, any application where the surface is a target, such as metrology, inspection, dispensing, or assembly, can be jeopardized. So... Thank God they fixed that. So there will be no more axial runout uh, in your hatch reels. So you can s sleep easy now. So it, it just creates a more stable and solid design. You know, I, I prefer English over that other stuff. And then most of all, the new drag material. The drag material is a new carbon filled uh, material that not only dissipates heat faster, but it creates a smoother feel. Um, and this is, according to Hatch, their smoothest drag system to date. And, you know, that's all good and well, but what's the first thing we all do when we get a new reel in our hands? We feel how 
Ooh, that, that, is, that is like butter. We feel how butter smooth it is reeling in because that's the fun part. And then of course we're gonna take this and we're gonna crank it down and then feel that drag system. And there is no question that this is the smoothest drag system of any hatch reel that, that I've ever felt. Uh, we've been selling hatch for six or seven years now. And uh, it, it's a very good brand for us, I'll be honest with you. We sell a lot of hatch reels. So a new carbon-filled drag material dissipates heat faster and just creates a smoother, like butter, feel. So there you have it. The new Hatch Iconic uh, comes in three colors. Of course, this is black and silver. You're going to have silver on the handle and the counterbalance, and you're going to have silver inlays uh, on the logo and such. And then next is, quite frankly, my favorite, and this is the gray and black. They call it gray and black, even though you still have a silver handle and still silver counterbalance. The inlays for the logo and for the markings of what the reel is, uh, is going to be black. So that's the gray and black. And then we have the clear and silver, or excuse me, clear and blue. I'm sorry. Clear and blue on this one. And uh, your drag housing or excuse me, the, uh, yeah, the drag housing that again is now built into the body. That's going to be blue on this one. Your inlays are blue and then the reel is clear and then the silver on the handle and the counterbalance. I think there's about six different models. You have the three plus, the three plus, which I didn't grab one, but the three plus, will take you from a three weight to a five weight. The four plus will go four to six weight. The five plus, which we quite frankly haven't received yet, but we're hoping to get them any day now. The five plus will take you five to seven. A seven plus will go seven to nine. A nine plus will go nine to 11. And an 11 plus is rated for 11 weight or 12 weight rods. Um, and you can find the backing specs and all that on our website. Of course, there's links to everything down below me, as there always is. Um, these were just launched last week. As of early July 2021, we do not have full stock yet. They're all on our website. But of course, our website tells you whether an item is in stock or out of stock. But we're hoping that over the next couple of weeks, we really start getting shipments of these in and have regular stock moving forward. Again, as of early July, 2021, they are not offering spools, but they have promised us that we will be able to buy spare spools moving forward. It's just gonna be later this summer that they're available. And then final note for you, those of you uh, that have been asking and sending emails uh, about the hatch, the legendary hatch nippers and their pliers, they promised us that that's next up for a redesign and we should see those launched later in 2021. Of course, there's some of the best nippers and some of the pliers that you'll ever find. Yes, they are expensive, just like the reels. Uh, but the cool thing is this is America and if you don't want to buy one, you don't have to. But if you're a Hatch fan and you've been anxiously anticipating the new iconic fly reel, it is here, and uh, hopefully we walked you through uh, some of the important upgrades and new design features, and also gave you some definitions of, for example, galvanic corrosion, and for axial runout. So we're always here to help. Oh, they also come with the hatch neoprene pouch, and then they've got a new, uh, easier to use, tool if you do need to make any adjustments uh, to the drag system or switch the retrieve from right hand to left hand. So it's all right there. The links are down below me. As always, if you have any questions, you can pick up the phone and call us here at the shop. And just remember, as stated on our website, when you buy a reel from us and you buy a fly line, all you have to do is ask us to line it up and we'll put the proper amount of backing on there. You even get to pick your backing color to really personalize this to 
make it like no other fly reel in the world. So you can find all that information on our website. And of course, pick up the phone and give us a call if you have any questions. Always remember, customer service is what we do for a living here at Mad River Outfitters. Fly fishing is just what we love and what we sell. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and all those good things, and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming your way. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.